Hello everyone. So this is a summary of the poem. The world is too much with us by William Wordsworth. So these are some of the important points. This poem is a sonnet which was written in 1806 and got published in 1807. In this poem, poet is lamenting the loss of connection between humanity and nature. He criticizes English people for running after material things and becoming spiritually corrupt. Poet wrote this poem during first industrial revolution. So this is the text of the poem. So poet starts the poem by saying that English people have become so obsessed with the pursuit of wealth and prosperity that they have stopped appreciating the beauty of nature. They have lost their connection with the nature. Okay, so the world is too much with us, late and soon. So they are just interested in, you know, in uh, earning money and spending it quickly. Okay, sooner or later, they are just busy in earning money and in spending it and by doing this they are wasting their energies in the worthless pursuit of running after you know material things and prosperity little we see nature that is ours so now poet says that they do not see anything in nature nature doesn't appeal to them they do not see any beauty in nature they do not even appreciate the beauty of natural objects and they have become so selfish and self-centered that they are deprived of any feelings and emotions okay which looks like advantage to them okay to run after material things okay to run after wealth you know seems a kind of advantage to them but which is actually spoiling their lives which is degrading their lives so it means which is degrade which is degrading their lives which is ruining their lives and they cannot see the beauty of sea, you know, shining under the moonlight. They cannot even notice the beauty of the winds which keep on blowing all the time. But at this moment, wind is not blowing and here wind is being compared to sleeping flowers. So here simile is being used where wind is compared to sleeping flowers because wind is silent at this time. And now poet says for this, for everything, we are out of tune that they are not moved by the beauty of nature. Okay. And now they have lost their appreciation of nature come to the next line now he's addressing krishan god and he says that he would rather believe in ancient religious creed which is pagan okay and then he says at this moment is standing on the patch of grass pleasantly in his patch of grass and he's having such sights which are making him feel less lonely so he is having such sights which are making him feel less alone and what are these sights he sees uh, you know greek god of sea proteus rising from the sea taking shape you know in the sea and he also sees another greek god triton blowing his conch okay so these are the sights you know which he uh, sees here while standing near the sea on a patch of grass so what is the theme of the poem the theme of the poem is that that people english people have become so obsessed with material things that they have stopped appreciating the beauty of nature they have become spiritually corrupt